so this is a very different video. Well, kind of, not really. Um, I filmed one like this before, but I have had the most anxious two days that I have had in a long time. And you know what? I want to talk about it because I feel like no one ever does. No one ever says, oh, it's okay to talk about your anxiety. It's okay to talk about how you feel. People are starting to say that more now, which is amazing. But we desperately need to be talking about it more. So, I am going to try to keep this as real and raw as I possibly can. Because that's what this video is about. I changed out of my usual really comfy pajamas to my cuter pajamas because I wanted to look at least somewhat put together. So we've got that going for us. Great. I turned my fairy lights on. Love those. And so I just wanted to chat and kind of show you guys what I do on an anxious day. So. I could be really realistic and show you the state of my bedroom right now, but I'm not going to do that. We're not going to go that that far. Maybe someday I'll show you the state of my room when I have anxiety because it gets bad, but um, not today. Not today. I'm not feeling it today. So, um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the fact that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay. And that is still a very hard concept for me to grasp. Um, it's a very tough thing to think about. Because when things aren't going the way you want them to or the way you thought they were going to. And things completely turn upside down on you and you're not expecting it and blah blah blah. The easiest thing to do, normally, right, is to cry. Freak out. Maybe have a mental breakdown. <sighs> but, I really try to just, like, sit with my anxiety and just let it do its thing. Let it happen and go away on its own. And so I wanted to show kind of the things that I do in that time when I'm having really anxious days like yesterday and today um, and yeah so I'm gonna read a little bit because that's one thing that always helps me um, and just like sitting sometimes in silence or playing music really helps me a lot I love music it's a big like therapy thing to me so I definitely listen to a lot of music when I'm anxious. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take you on an evening with me on an anxious day. Because why the heck not? I don't have anything else to film right now. And... I mean, I, I don't know what else to do with myself right now. So, we're just going to use it as an opportunity you talk more about anxiety fun 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 love having mental health issues just kidding um we don't love it we hate it but it's okay we just deal with it honestly at the end of the day you just gotta deal with it and just, uh, that's it just get through the day you <laughs> just make it through the day somehow so that was a lot of rambling. I'm very sorry. I'm very tired. And when I'm anxious, I just, like, can't think clearly. Here's one thing that helps me with my anxiety. Let me tell you this. Come here. My puppy. This is Nala. She's been on the channel before, huh? You know? Excuse you. She just wants to leave me all the time. But let me love you. Fine. So, she helps a lot with my anxiety. Um, just cuddling her. Oh, just melts it away. But, um, so I think for right now, 
I'm really feeling like doing some reading. I just got this book in the mail the other day. Wait. This isn't the one. One second. That's not the one I'm reading. This is the one I'm reading. Sterling House by Alex E. Harrow. Um, I just started reading this yesterday. And I'm on chapter three. And I'm really liking it so far. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of a talking break. And lay here and read. Um, if you want to open whatever you're reading right now and read with me. Let's do that. I'll put on some calming music for this. For this part of the video and we can just have a little read with me session because it sounds really nice right now so i'm gonna read let me try to fix my camera frame here no it keeps thinking i want to zoom in and i definitely do not okay so we're gonna read a little bit
this is what I really want to do when I'm anxious. She hates me, but she really loves me. So, I kind of want to end the video on this note. Now, normally I'll do more, like, self-care type things. Um, on an anxious day, like, I'll take a bath, do some skincare, maybe, um, watch a funny show, hang out with my family, stuff like that. But I'm not going to show all that stuff. Um, I'm not quite, like, a vlogger yet. Hopefully I will be one day, but, um, until then easier just to talk to the camera with just me um so I just want to say how important it is to not let your anxiety this is really this is a really hard one because I know I still struggle with this you are not your anxious thoughts you are not too much because even sometimes I'm an amazing family. I have literally the most amazing family in the entire world. I'm very blessed. However, that doesn't mean that my thoughts still don't try and tell me otherwise or that my thoughts don't try and tell me you're too much. Nobody likes hanging out with you because when you're anxious, you're just like, you're too much, like emotionally, whatever. My brain still tries to tell me that and it's hard to not let it get to you but you have to do your absolute best on that um honestly my relationship with god helps a lot with that so that's a big thing for me is i pray a lot and um in this video was read but that is honestly what helps me a lot with my anxiety it's just getting into a different world and mindset sometimes just really helps and this has been a very anxious two days in a row so um yesterday i just slept almost all day so that was fun um i think it's stuff that's important to talk about it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel down and anxious and upset and anything you're feeling. It's okay. You just don't want to stay there. But it's okay to feel those things and to let yourself feel those things. So a lot of times when I have anxiety, I just kind of like to sit with it for a little bit and just let it do its thing, whatever. I know it'll end up going away. Um soonish my anxiety attacks don't usually last that long i guess this has just been the exception for two days so fun 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 um but yeah i just really wanted to talk about it and to show you guys how i live with it and what i do which i can't show a lot of that stuff but I can talk about what I do so yeah some days you just don't want to do anything and some days you just want to sleep all day and some days you feel like crap and you want to be productive but your brain is telling you that you can't do the things and we all have those times we all have those days we all have those feelings it's totally normal it's valid it's fine I have to keep reminding myself because I feel like I let everybody down every time I have anxiety attacks even though I literally cannot control them 
Um, man, it's just the worst. And people always look at you like, oh, you're stressed? Okay, just get over it. Like, it's all in your head. Move on. It's not. It's not. It's not all in our heads. It's not us overreacting to things. It's a very real feeling. And it's... I'm not going to cry on camera. I'm not going to. Um, I think I need to wrap this up because I don't really know what else to say. Um, I'm just going to kind of sit with this for a little bit more. And I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of what I do and show my anxious days and how fun they are. They're so fun. Ugh. Anybody else out there with anxiety feel my struggles because your girl's struggling out here. She's struggling. But it's going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. And I just have to keep reminding myself that. Maybe one day that'll sink in. But until then, um, I love you guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here and watching my videos and supporting my channel. And for putting up with my crap. I don't know. <laughs> for putting up with my random uploads because I really need to get back on my schedule again. But for another day. So, I'm gonna end on a good note. Nala, come here. Come here. She's being lazy. Nala. <gasps> there she is. I'm gonna end on a good note and go snuggle with my puppy and read my book and maybe take a bubble bath tonight because relaxation is key on anxious days. I love you guys so much and don't forget to like comment subscribe all the things turn on the bell so you never miss a video and I will see you in the next one